New at six, the fight to keep a U.S. Army veteran convicted of a felony drug trafficking charge from being deported to Mexico was back in court today. CBS 2's Mai Martinez was in the courtroom and joins us live from outside immigration court at Canal and Van Buren. Mai? Rob, Miguel Perez Jr. is a legal resident of the U.S. and served two tours of duty in Afghanistan after 9-11. But that felony conviction violates the terms of his residency. The Department of Homeland Security wants him deported, but his supporters say an exception should be made because of his military service. Miguel Perez Jr. appeared in court via closed circuit television today, trying to convince a federal judge he should not be deported. Perez acknowledged his guilt in delivering cocaine to an undercover officer, but pointed out he took responsibility for the crime by pleading guilty and serving seven years in prison. The defendant's attorney is asking the judge to grant Perez asylum on the grounds that because of his military service, Perez would likely be a target for torture, recruitment, or murder by Mexican drug cartels or gangs if he's deported. His family is hoping the judge will allow Perez to stay. We want our brother home, you know. He, he's been gone for a long time, no holidays together. He has to see his kids. His kids need to know him again. I haven't seen him in a long time. And I want him just to come home. I want to spend time with him. All the time I can with him. Several politicians are also fighting on behalf of Perez, including U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth, who sent this letter to the judge today asking her to consider his military service, PTSD diagnosis, and strong family ties when ruling on this case. The judge will issue a written ruling in this case. That could take weeks. In the meantime, Perez's attorney says he plans to file paperwork tomorrow pursuing U.S. citizenship for his client based on his service in the military during a time of hostility. Reporting live in the West Loop, my Martinez, CBS 2 News. Rob and Erica. Okay, my thank you.